chapter 2 defining the marketing research problem and developing an chapter 2 to start with a chain restaurant the whole case is about some people make mistakes when they start with collecting information and analyzing them without knowing and well defining the problem itself. Therefore, the case study is about one day I received a phone call from a research analyst who was working for a restaurant chain and wanted help analyzing the data he had collected while conducting a marketing research study. When we met, he presented me with a copy of the questionnaire and asked how he should analyze the data. My first question to him was, what is the problem being addressed? The goal of data analysis is to provide information related to the problem components. Therefore, gathering information, it is not an end, it is a means for solving the I was surprised to learn that he didn't, he did not have a clear understanding of the marketing research problem. Once the problem was defined, I found that much of the data collected was not relevant to the problem. A new study had to be designed and implemented to address the problem defined. Some true and false statements and the multiple choices. According to the chain restaurant study, in your text, the researcher had collected data but did not know is it A, is it B, is it C, or D. The right answer is A. To understand the background of marketing research problem, the researcher must understand the client's firm and industry. It is obvious. The right answer is, it is true. Problem definition is the most important step in marketing research project. It is also true. Now we'll have to differentiate between management decision, decision problems versus marketing research problem. Just in order to give, to make the comparison easy, we'll just give some examples. In the side of management decision problem, should a new product be introduced to the market? But in the marketing research problem, to determine consumer preference and then purchase intentions for the proposed new product. Should the advertising campaign be changed for the marketing research side? to determine the effectiveness of the current advertising campaign. Should the price of the brand be increased on the marketing research problem side to determine the price elasticity of demand and the impact on sales and the profits of various levels of price change? Proper definition of the research problem. As you can see in the figure 2, 3, 
marketing research problem has two types of statements number one broad statement number two specific components we we'll start the first with broad statement it is all about the initial statement of the marketing research that provides an appropriate perspective of the problem that is number one number two specific component they focus on the key aspects of the problem which means 20 percent 80 percent what do you mean by that it is called Pareto analysis it says 20 percent of causes leads to 80 percent of the problem therefore we must focus on the 20 percent important or key aspects of the problem that contribute to 80 percent of the problem if as therefore specific components they focus on the key aspects of the problem what we call it 2080 and provide clear guidelines for how to proceed further some true and false statement and multiple choice part of the marketing research problem definition is specific components the specific components focus on the key aspects of the problem and provide clear guidelines of how to proceed further it is all about 80 percent 20 percent or 20 percent 80 percent so it is true the management decision is action oriented true or false it is also true the marketing research problem is information oriented the right answer is it is also true there is a broad statement of general problem and identification of the specific components of the marketing research problem select management problem problem definition problem audit none of the above it is b problem definition as it is known from the title of this subtitle the last part of chapter two are the refined statement of the specific components of the problem is it a b c d the right answer is b the last statement for this chapter Hypotheses go beyond research questions because they are statements of relationship or propositions rather than merely questions to which answers are so. Is it true or false? 
very very clear it is true safe landing to our aeroplane thank you very much all now we'll move to chapter 3 